Bees are like a super organism. It's chaotic, they look disorganized, but they all really have a purpose. When I'm watching the bees do their work, I feel like I'm part of a bigger thing. For every three bites of food you put in your mouth, one bite's coming from bees. The flowers and fruit trees that requires pollination, honeybees are the best at doing that. You'll have a thousand bees on this one little area of pollen or nectar, and they'll keep making those trips on and on and on, all day long. We all need them to be successful. The world needs these bees. And to be honest, personally, I need these bees. A lot of my fellow veterans do too. It's important for a soldier to wake up every day and have a purpose. Routine is everything. During a deployment, you're working 18 hours a day. So you eat, you work, you sleep, and you do PT, and that's it. Everything's provided. It's comfortable, it's a lifestyle, but when you actually retire and go home, you don't have any of it, it's all gone. So what's your purpose now becomes the question, and so you have to find that. Mental health is a huge component of that struggle. Sometimes that struggle can lead to alcohol or drugs or not sleeping right, not eating right. If they can find purpose in a job or an education or a hobby, then they feel useful. They feel like they're back doing something that makes a difference. That's why organizations like Hives for Heroes has been so important to me and many other soldiers. So Hives for Heroes addresses two problems, healthy transition from service for military veterans and our pollinator conservation. Pollinators like bees are super important. To put it simply, no bees, no food. Bees are in danger of extinction and we have the opportunity to do something about it. Beekeeping is a great fit for veterans because there's that adrenaline action, the teamwork, the brotherhood, the togetherness, all those things are similar to the military. With hives, I feel like there's a sense of danger. You don't know what the attitude of a specific hive is gonna be until you open it. Originally, bees would absolutely freak me out. They'd weird me out because, I mean, it stings. Right then, this things hurt. But kind of like in the service, you can't let fear get in the way of your job. Now I love it. As soon as you take off that inner cover, going, okay, what do you got for me today? <laughs> and you just kind of play it by ear. Yeah, sometimes they're spicy. They are. So I had a very difficult transition from my military service. In reality, bees saved my life. And we're just trying to create an organization that allows that to happen for others. One way to provide opportunity is to decrease the barrier of entry. In our case, we provide a mentor newbie structure because the mentor already has the resources available. So now you're not buying boxes, bees, gear, and everything else. You're utilizing that together. Your proficiency increases significantly faster and you have a buddy to do this with. You're not only helping yourself, but you're helping them. One of the great advantages as well is that veterans are actually able to put some money in their pockets. We provide a platform in order for them to be successful in the way that they desire to be. Whether that's a backyard beekeeper, a sideliner, or maybe even commercial, they're able to do what they want. My mentor helped me not just with the hows and the whats, but also the why. You gotta believe in something, right? Something that's bigger than yourself. Why we do this is important to me. Pollinators are in trouble. They are disappearing around the world, and our job is to help them. At Hives for Heroes, we save bees and save vets. We have four core values. One of those is connection, and we talk about connecting with yourself, nature, and other people. It's been the most amazing experience to see the successes of others. Finding that purpose through beekeeping is helping you create your identity in yourself. I feel like I'm part of something bigger, which is something that I had in the service, and I have it again now. 
to me, that's what it's all about.